Zdravo, ja sam Mehdi, ja sam iz Irana i došao sam ovdje pre tri godina i ja sam glumac. Well, that's what I can say pretty much. I live in a really small city next to Iraq and border, like we are on the border exactly with Iraq. I went from Iran to Turkey, Turkey to Serbia. I'm here with my family, parents, brother and sister. But like some people were really like angry and mad because the door was closed and everything. But for me personally, no. I'm okay. So this is like for our, for our own safety, and it's like it should happen, you know. But like some people really don't get that, unfortunately. Well, you know, first they made it like so terrifying, you know, and like they're bringing new people, and it was like really terrifying. Maybe like some of them were like affected or anything, and like you were really scared. Everyone in here were scared almost. But like, you know, when it like passed and like now people are really, they're not really scared, you know, they're like th thinking like maybe it's like politics and like everything that like governments are playing. Anyways, so like when people start coming, people were scared and everything. And like there were like roughly about, I don't know, 900 people in here. I don't know, like 800, something like that. I'm not sure, but it was like a lot of people, you know, like literally a lot of people. Like when we were going to take like, I don't know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, it was like a really huge line, you know, a really long line. <laughs> there were like sometimes like fights, you know, going on because like they were really angry, you know, and like, you know, how it goes. But like for me personally, not much, you know, and I was like, people were trying really like to play football, you know, to, I don't know, somehow, I don't know, like in the night, play some songs and dance, you know, and this stuff so they can like keep themselves busy because they cannot go outside like for a whole one or two months, they couldn't go outside, something like that, you know. Well, look, you get like angry, you know, devastated, you know, because like, well, you cannot go out. But at some point you realize that it's for your, for your own safety, you know. Like in, in, like in my hometown, it's like a small city and the hospital, we have like only one hospital and the rest is like a private doctors and like, the hospital is not really good, you know, so everyone who, who gets infected and everything, believe me, they will die on their own, you know, like nobody's going to help them, you know, and like, you know, the hospital is governmental and not a good thing comes out of governmental hospitals, everywhere is like that, you know. For me personally, I'm, I have always my routine, you know, 12 hours sleep, 12 hours TV shows, you know, <laughs> this is my great routine that I really love about myself. There was like this funny meme that they said like before was Corona less and then like the fear of Corona was higher and now Corona is more but the fear of Corona is really lower, you know? And so this is like how it goes. Like even for me, I don't like, I don't really care, you know? Okay, whatever, you know? I mean, in school, I, I mean, I didn't go to high school, but like I used to go to this organization that like they have volunteers coming from like, I don't know, America, England, Germany, France or whatever, every, everywhere almost, you know. And then like I would go there and then learn English, Serbian, maybe like a little bit of French, Spanish. And it was like really helpful, but Corona came and like everyone went back to their countries, you know, for now, it's closed. My English is like way, way better than when I come here like three years ago, you know, I didn't know like anything at all, but now it's better. I, I wrote like a short, thing you know and somebody was supposed to come you know from aboard and so we could like film this but because of corona it didn't happen because everywhere was closed and so she couldn't travel from america to here it's actually it was helpful in a way like i could improve what i was doing i'm still working on it everything is changing you know but it's like this um things about like life and everything i mean we should that movie like last year somehow happened you know we joined that crew so the director of, of the movie her name is Anna Lazarevich and uh, the main role of course Branislav Trifunovic and uh, the name of the movie is The Game which stands for you know people who are crossing the border and everything we call it like game you know when you're going to game I mean I didn't have like a really long part in it but um, it was a classic about refugees documentary. Well, my younger brother, he's a way better actor than I am, you know? He was like more than I was in the movie, you know? <laughs> yeah, he's a better actor than I am, you know? He's like more important in the movie. <laughs>
we are brothers, you know. I want him success and he wants me successful. It's really weird, like, I don't know, somehow they found us, you know, they come here and like they say, oh, we want like, we, we are like looking for people for movies and blah, blah, blah. And then like, I was like really interested in it, you know, and I told her like, okay, I really love, I'm really interested, you know, I want to film and everything. And like, you know, she saw me like, I was really interested and said, okay, we want him, we want like this and him. And so we started shooting and everything <laughs> and like, like a dream came true, you know. <laughs> Since I was like, you know, really younger, you know, I really loved to go filming or, you know, being in a theater show and that this movie, when it happened, I really loved it. You know, it was like really great, like people who were working there, they were really good. And like, somehow it changed me, you know, like I learned a lot of things out of that movie, you know, it like every actor's goal is to get an Oscar, you know, that's obvious, you know, <laughs> of course, you know. This is like the way to start. <laughs>